Hello? Is anyone here? So, I don't know about- it's strange if Dupre to leave the door unlocked. Maybe it means he'll be returning soon. So, I don't know about you guys, but... And this is usually a sensitive subject for people. I always found taxidermy to be kind of creepy. I don't know. It just seems weird that you would want to cut a head off an animal or stuff an entire animal and plop it on your wall. And I know some people, I, I know a lot of people that do that, especially where I live. Lots of people do this. I worked with a girl who owned a taxidermy company, but I always found it creepy. I don't know, man. You agree, Roddy? It is very creepy. Oh, it'll be $14.99. Thank you. Um, let's do this. You really have to wonder about someone who chooses to surround themselves with dead things. <laughs> Alright, so, so we're on the same page then. Satchels, boxes, and other assorted boring things for hunting. Thank you, Bill. Ooh, cabinet. Let's see if Jean has anything interesting in here. Also, you notice there's no Jean. Not very much, except the letter. <gasps> dear husband. <laughs> I was about to say it's gonna be a dear Jean letter, and it is. Oh, it's not an actual quote unquote dear John letter. It's from Juliet. Um, thank you so much for your help. To think that mother uh, would try and have uh, me withdrawn from my studies is just unbelievable. Don't worry, I won't tell her you made the university change their minds. One attempt to ruin, to, one attempt to win a life is quite enough. Huh. Okay. So why doesn't the mom like her being a botanist? That's that. That's got nothing to do with with the boy, right? What was his name? Martin. Oh my god, Martin's his last name. I don't remember his first name. Does this have to do with her boy? With the boy? I don't think it does. Maybe there's even... This is more rift. So maybe I didn't get to the bottom of the rift, guys. Okay. I had a nasty run-in with an alligator when I was a child. One less in the world doesn't really bother me, to be honest. What is creepy about taking a dead animal and then stuffing them and trying to make them look alive again? <laughs> See, that's how I feel. Personally, I've only seen the taxidermy fish, which I guess isn't as creepy. It's not the botany she has an issue with. It's school in general. Oh, that's right. She she did have a little bit of problem with the the school. An absolute bore. But it's set. Wait, 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 wait. But nothing else of interest in there. Oh, I got the note up in here. I assume. All right, it says withdrawn from my studies. I was I was thinking, have it. Okay, okay, you may be right. Yeah, you may be right. Um, it may be a, a a thing about a girl being in her proper place type of thing. What is a a, a woman doing, learning botany in a school? She should be somebody's wife type of thing. You think that's what it is? You could be right. Are these even native to New Britannia? Thank God I can't read. I actually am not a fan of 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 that. Of of the problem with putting cursive in in um well there I this is pixel art, but this is a little bit higher definition, I guess, right? Than than something like Monkey Island was. Um, is cursive usually doesn't show up very well in pixel arty type games. It can be hard to read. So yeah, I do prefer it this way myself. I once went to a restaurant where the entire room was completely covered with various trophies from hunting trips to include full-sized African animals, and sadly enough, the horrific decor wasn't the worst part about the meal. Ugh. See, I don't want to eat at a place like that. It looks 1890s. Yes, it is 1844, Amanti. And this is an alternate timeline to what reality is. This, I believe, is a America... That is still a British colony, is what I, I gather. I don't. I, the, we're in a place called New Britannia, which I think is supposed to be New York. And steam, the steam age is kind of prospered here, but a lot of people apparently have rejected it in a way. It seems Mr. Dupre is a Bolingworth man. Maybe he's not so bad after all. 
Some high society type in the middle of a hunt. I don't understand why anyone would get a thrill out of murdering innocent creatures. There you go. Not a very dignified end for our friend Mr. Bear. It is not. One of the guns is missing. Jean must be out using it currently. They even said earlier that what kind of man wants a woman with useless facts in her head. Yeah, you're Who's right. Who the hell are you? What are you doing in my cabin? Hello, Jean. Jean pray, I presume? Yes, that's right. Who are you? Miles Fordham, private investigator. I'm looking into the attempted murder of your wife. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Forgive my rudeness, but you startled me. <laughs> Perfectly understandable, Mr. Dupre. He's got a red a coat on. His bark is most definitely worse than his bite. Interesting. Okay. Um, it's very weird that I did walk in to this house, this cabin, without um, without getting permission first, and it's weird that it, that he's suddenly okay with it. But um. I guess you got to do something like that. Can we talk, Mr. Dupre? I suppose so. Yes. That happens in detective stories all the time, doesn't it? Hello, sir. Um, let's talk about Juliet's letter. Do you know anything about Madame Dupre trying to get Juliet taken out of her classes at the university? Ah, yes. Laura didn't approve of her daughter's desire to further her education. There you go. So she sent a letter to the university requesting Juliet's withdrawal. I didn't approve of her trying to meddle in Juliet's affairs. If she wants to study, she should be free to do so. I wrote them a letter myself, without Laura's knowledge, telling them to disregard the previous request for withdrawal. That's very good of you. Yes, well, I dislike seeing people being told what they can and can't do by others. Yet, he seems perfectly willing to employ servants at his home. Well, I suppose we're all hypocrites in one way or another. Well, I mean, they're paying him. I mean, they, 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 they have said the word employ. Um, they are paying them, right? I hope. Perhaps. Possibly. What can you tell me about your stepchildren? Ah, uh, Andrew and Juliet? I see a bright future ahead for both of them. What's your relationship with them like? It's fine. Why do you ask? I got the distinct impression from both of them that they hardly ever see you. Well, yes, I suppose that is true. We don't spend much time together, but they're both so busy with school. I don't want to get in their way. Not to mention my job keeps me away from home for considerable periods of time. Excuses, excuses. I get the feeling Mr. Dupre avoids his family on purpose, but why? Because <laughs> they're not nice people. Hey devices means it seems more like Creole New Orleans setting to me. You may be right. With the, with the voodoo stuff and whatnot. You may be right. Although it seems like we're in a pretty big city. I kind of got the impression that we're in a big city. So I don't know. But we're definitely on the Atlantic. So maybe. You know? Maybe. I suppose it goes without saying that you enjoy hunting, Mr. Dupre? Yes, I do. I consider myself something of an outdoorsman, you see. It's nice to be able to go out and get some fresh air after being sat at the bank all day. What about your home life? Truth be told, I'm not at home as often as I'd like to be. I've been trying to make more time, but something usually comes up. Business is business, after all. Yeah, but what business are we talking about here? That's what exactly. I was thinking. What is his business? What can you tell me about Madame Dupre? Oh, my dear wife, the past few days have been just awful for all of us. Yes, I can imagine. How long have you been married? For seven wonderful years. Laura and I are just as much in love now as we were on the day we married. Why is he Does here he then? I actually expect anyone to believe that nonsense. What is going on with this guy? being so frank, Mr. Dupre, but why are you out hunting and not at your wife's side? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Who are you to lecture me on my marriage? A fellow married man, that's who. <laughs> Your wife has just suffered a very traumatic ordeal. Shouldn't you be at home caring for her? He's gonna be like, that's not my wife. There's all the confusion at the house with the police investigating and her being attended to by her doctor. I just needed to get away for a bit. Surely you can understand, Mr. Fordham. There's something off about this guy, Miles. He's definitely hiding something. And for once, I don't think it's from his wife. I agree. Do you know anything about the circumstances surrounding Madame Dupre's death? Horrible. Simply horrible. Do you have any idea why Mr. Martin might have attempted to kill her? Mr. Martin? You mean the boys they arrested? 
Andrew said it's because Martin and his mother are witches <laughs> who prey on the well-to-do. You only need to take one look at him to see his trouble. It's a shame they put him away so quickly. I'd have liked to teach him a lesson or two, believe you me. Yeah, right. A lesson on how to cower in the corner, most likely. I'll be going now. Au revoir, Mr. Fodam. Au revoir. Okay. Huh. We haven't got anything else to ask him about right now. Discover the source of Juliet and her mother's rift. That's still up there. You know, I've heard it said that needing to have so many guns is a sign of overcompensation. Um, he's very shady, that's for sure. I, I'm feeling like I'm missing something in the house, but it doesn't look like I am. It seems Mr. Dupre is a Bowlingworth man. Maybe he's not so bad after all. That's what Bill likes to drink. All right, I I, I guess I'm I got everything then. I might be able to get more out of Juliet now, maybe? Perhaps? Let's go check her. Maybe not. Hello again, Miss Montgomery. Mind answering a few more questions? Hello, Mr. Fordham. Not at all. You probably need to talk to Jules about the letter stuff. Yep. Did your mother try to get you withdrawn from the university? As a matter of fact, she did. Just another one of the many ways she tried interfering with my life. What happened, exactly? Mother wrote the university requesting that I be withdrawn. I found out about it when the enrollment office contacted me. I couldn't believe it at first. I thought it was some sort of mistake, but then they showed me the letter. I take it you were upset. More than upset, Mr. Fordham. I was furious. I was trying to make a real life for myself. One that wasn't about dresses or debutante balls or fending off suitors. I'd been given the chance to make something of myself. And Mother was ready to bring it all crashing down, just because she didn't agree with it. But in the end, you're still here. Yes. Jean stepped in and fixed everything. He didn't have to do it, but it was very good of him. I'm afraid that was the beginning of the end of my relationship with Mother. We never really managed to fix things after that. Wouldn't it be funny, Chad? No more questions for now. Then if you don't mind, I have work to do. Wouldn't it be funny if Martin Fordham, was are you thinking guilty? What thinking? Wait, what am I saying? Of course you are. Madame Dupre has been interfering with Juliet's studies and disapproved of her relationship with Martin, hence they're falling out. Plus, the information in Juliet's notes about ethericity, putting animals into a death-like trance, seems awfully suspicious. It's enough to establish both means and motive. That's plenty to consider her a suspect. I agree. I agree. Madame Dupree's estranged daughter hates her mother for disapproving of her relationship and trying to have her removed from the uh, university, researching ethericity and its ability to make living creatures appear dead. But wouldn't it be funny if Martin is actually guilty of the crime? <laughs> he just got thrown in jail for being black or whatever black magic um, or whatever they threw him in there for originally. That'd be hilarious. Um. All right, well... She's a suspect, and I agree with that. But I feel like I don't have any hardcore answers. Oh, the tomb is still here. Okay. Speak to Jean Dupree. All right, I gotta go back to speak to him, I guess. Oh! I suppose the whole heaven shining down upon the tomb motif is good for the dead people's self-esteem. Okay. That nest is full of- Perhaps she abandoned- Always assuming the- We still need to investigate this tomb. These crypts are reserved for- There are only three left. Yeah, and let's hope- Yeah, we walk. We talked through- We went through all that. Celine. Oh! 1823 to 1844. Taken too soon. Rest ye with the angels. All right, I wasn't quite sure about this because each one I hover over, it says crypt. So I thought I thought this whole thing was one um, click. 
But it looks like maybe each one of them is different. John Patrick Chesterton. Yeah. 1740, 1825. Patriarch, leader, family man. Desmond Chesterton, 1745 to 1810. Strong in life, stronger in death. I don't think we'll find any answers or anything Jane here. Jane Scott Chesterton, 1746 to 1815. Ab Eterno. Ab Eterno. What does that mean? Eterno? Sounds like eternity, maybe? I don't know Latin. William Arthur Chesterton, 1770 to 1837. Gone, but never forgotten. Celine, 1823. We already saw that one. Dale Chesterton, 1795 to 1843. A good man. Rest Wh in peace. Why is Celine just the first name? Celine, 1823 to 1844. She was young. Taken too soon. Yep. Douglas Chesterton, 1791 to 1840. <laughs> Good riddance. Good riddance. That's fantastic. All right, let's get out of here. Is that, um, I know the tomb is still there. Oh my God. This just goes to show you can't take it with you. So you might as well spend it all on a giant tomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's got to be something with the birds then. The eggs. And I don't know what I have. I mean, the parrot would... Well, I don't want to say make sense, but that's my first thought. But who knows? Ab Eterno means something like from eternity. Okay, so I was actually kind of close. Will I play PVZ GW2 on my birthday week? Is that Guild Wars 2? I, don't, I have no interest in playing Guild Wars 2. Or is that Plants vs. Zombies? Not my kind of game, sir. I'm sorry. Um, Let's go check in with Martin, see if he's got anything to do to tell us. Nothing else to ask him right now. He hasn't got much time left. Best not to waste it. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, I'm sorry. So you closed off the lead to investigate the tomb by not talking to Amelie. Right now, all you can do is accuse Juliet. Oh. Can I get more suspects, or have, has Juliet my 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 p basic final conclusion? I'm curious what the she has to say about it. Can we talk? Go on, I'm listening. But it gives you an incentive to replay for a different outcome another time. Okay. Oh, wrap up case. I wanted to go over the case with you. Okay, what have you got? Jean Dupre isn't talking very much. I think he's hiding something. Well, you have a knack for making people divulge their secrets. There has to be something that'll make him talk. Perhaps I should check with those close to him. That's enough about the case for now. Okay. Probably... I don't want to wrap up the case That's quite it, yet. Think. Then you'd better get... I want to explore a couple final things before we do that. I want to talk to Andrew. See if he has anything to say about Jean. Anything more. As amusing as it is to chat with this oddball, I think we've exhausted his usefulness at the moment. That answers that. Um, I don't think the doctor's- this quack yeah. hasn't gotten anything more for us to learn right now. This is maybe it. Just walk right in. Oh, Mr. Fordham, you're back. I have to talk to you, sir. We haven't got anything else to ask him about right now. Oh. Okay. Speak to Jean Dupri. I guess not. Go talk to Amelie. I can't talk to Amelie because I screwed up. I screwed up um my discussion with her. I approached it from the wrong angle and she won't talk to me now. I'll try it, but I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere. Pardon me, miss. Go away. I have nothing to say to you. See? She's not a happy camper with me. To be fair, I deserved it. Alright. Um... I have a feeling that if I close the case, that's going to end this part of... The end the game, right? So what I want to do is I want to 
double check with Juliet to see if there's anything else I could do with her. She's busy. That's not to bother her until we have something to ask her. Nope, I guess not. And I want to talk to my wife. Who's not here? Is she... Is she still distracting the guard? What is she doing with the guard over in the tomb? What the hell? She's not in here, is she? Okay. I think that's it. I think I think we've got everything then. Uh, I got nothing from him. I could always go back to the voodoo house. I'm Welcome curious. Welcome back, Mr. Fordham. She's at her hairdressing appointment. Oh, okay. She's not going to be much help right now. That's not to bother her. Oh. All right, so we'll never find out what's in there unless we do another playthrough. She has an appointment, you knock the guard out. Yeah, I remember now. That's my bad memory for you. Okay, I think um I think that's it then, eh? Let's go to the ruined coffee house. See what happens. Can we talk? Go on, I'm listening. I think I'm ready to wrap this case up. Okay, who's your prime suspect? Although I I, I think Julia is the most likely one. I feel like I don't really I have motive and she does make the the ethericity and whatnot which is probably what was used on the mom other than that we don't really have any hard evidence do we I'm not sure we do but I think she's the most likely suspect it was Juliet Montgomery Madame Dupre's estranged daughter her daughter but why Madame Dupre disapproved of Juliet's relationship with Mr. Martin and also tried to have her withdrawn from university. Juliet grew to hate her and wanted to be free of her overbearing and controlling influence. So how did she do it? Aside from studying botany, Juliet is also interested in ethericity. She rents a room in the Chum where she conducts her experiments. Among her notes, she talks about the ability to use the power to put living things into a death-like trance. Fiendish. Nice work, Fordham. I'll pass along the information and we can make an arrest. It'll be bittersweet news for Mr. Martin, I think. And of course I'll dip into the department's Good Samaritan Fund to get you proper compensation for your work. Damn now, straight. Go home to your wife. I'm sure I'll have something else for you to look into fairly soon. I got an achievement! These violent delights! Juliet Montgomery? Uh-oh. Yes? May I help you with something? You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Madame Laura Dupre. What? But how can that be? Come with me, Miss Montgomery. We'll need to question you at the station. Addie, I'm home. Addie? S so she must still be out at her hairdressing appointment. Interesting. I'm glad we're alone because I wanted to talk to you about something. Uh-oh. Yes, Bill, I know. I told you I'm doing my best to try and find the flower shop burglar. No, for once, this isn't about him. This is about you. <laughs> and the music just stopped. What do you mean it's about me? You want to talk about me? What about me? You can play dumb and deflect all you like with everyone else around you, but it won't work with me. I know exactly what you're thinking, and you know exactly what I'm going to say. Um, you want me to find the flower shop burglar? You want to talk about how the case went? I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, it's not either of these two. I'm sick of games, Bill. I can't guess. Just tell me. Have you already forgotten the old days, Miles? Before I died, we were solving cases like nobody's business. You were one of the best detectives on the force. Did we celebrate after solving one? taking that soporific, your mind hasn't been as sharp as before. If you're serious about taking on more complex cases, you need to listen to Adelaide and stop taking it. It's already had a negative effect on your performance. And what are you talking about? We discovered it was Juliet who was to blame. I'm wrong! Yes, but if you were working at your full oh. abilities, you'd have come to that conclusion much sooner. Whatever, don't judge me, Bill. If I stop taking it, you won't let me sleep through the night. Nothing will change. Well, things would change if you found you-know-who. I thought you said we weren't going to talk about that right now. Yeah, well, I say a lot of things. An understatement if ever there was one. Can't you just keep quiet without me having to take something? Afraid not, old friend. That's just not who I am or how this works. If you keep me up all night, I'll go crazy. Things have been hard enough as it is. 
And if, God forbid, Adelaide were ever to find out about... About what? Oh, Miles, is there someone else here? Uh -oh. I thought I heard you talking just now. Nope. Fantastic. The jig is up. And here I thought we were doing so well, too. I was on... Do they have phones yet? I was on the telegraph. I swear. I was just going over the case thinking out loud. There's no one here. I was just talking to myself. I was calling out to see if you were home. So... Um... So I have no choice but to lie. Um... Well, I mean, this is... This is the closest thing to the truth right here. Well, this is kind of the truth, too. Uh, no, there isn't anyone else here. I was just talking to myself. You're not going crazy on me, are you, Miles? Maybe. No, no, of course not. Don't be ridiculous, Addie. Just checking. How was your appointment? Mrs. Lefebvre was her usual bossy and overly picky self, but she gave me a very generous tip. That's good. So I stopped by the shop on the way home and bought a new deck of cards. Excellent. Shall we have a few rounds of Ecarte? I believe you demanded a rematch last time we played. Yes, that would be nice. Well, you certainly managed to dodge that bullet. I only wonder how much longer you'll manage before one finally hits you. Is Ecarte the game that Euchre is based on? There we go. So... I'm not going crazy, I'm already there. <laughs> yeah. So, so is this also a bit of a choose your own adventure then, I guess? Whereas the choices we make kind of help forge the story and that if I were to play again, I would come to a different conclusion and be right. Hooray, I finished. I did indeed. I'm glad I finished it today and it didn't take me too late. Um, cause right now is about the time where I start breaking down, really. Usually. Possibly. Well, if you continued, your accusing of Juliet will have consequences further down the line. Aha! Okay. So, we're not sure if she actually was guilty or not. I feel like I didn't have... I feel like she was the most likely guilty person but I didn't have any solid actual evidence of it but you know I could just be looking too much into that but if I can be wrong and I can, can continue the game and we can explore all these different options I thought I turned the music down it probably resets when we get back to the main menu I guess Spoiler, you didn't reach the optimal solution for case one. Aha. Well, thank you for the bits, Diesel. Cool. I dig it. I dig it. I can't wait to play the, the full game. And we get to poke around and prod around the, the floral burglary while we're doing all these other cases. Cool beans. Game will continue. Just fine with the choice you made. That's cool. I dig it. Things will just change slightly. Cool, cool, cool. Cool beans. All right, guys. Um, hold on one second here. Quick game. Perfect timing. I have to leave. All right, we'll see you later, Nambi. Thanks for for chilling tonight. The artwork is really great. Yeah, I do like the art style. Thanks for checking out and streaming. Hope you enjoyed the full release. Oh, thanks for sticking by and answering questions and whatnot. That was pretty awesome of you. That's the game right there, guys, if you want to go put it on your wish list. They're aiming for a September release for the full game. <laughs>